Hello students. Okay, in this video, um, we're going to be teaching you how you can uh, simplify algebraic expressions by multiplying and dividing. So in the last video, we learned that to add and subtract um, expressions, we could only do so if the expressions were like terms. As you'll see in this video, um, that's not the case. So to start with, I'd like you to just have a quick look at um, that question just there and see if you can give me the answer in about three seconds. No calculator. Well, hopefully you came up with the answer of 830. Now the secret is, of course, this is written as 5 times 83 times 2. But when you're multiplying, you can multiply in any order. Order doesn't matter. So 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 times 83 is 830. Okay, try the second one. This time you only get uh, two seconds to try to do it in your head. Well, hopefully you got the answer 1,700. Once again, 4 times 25, we can multiply those first, gives us 100. And 17 times 100 is 1,700 or 1,700. And we're going to use the fact that we could multiply um, the factors in any order we want to to simplify these expressions. So having a look here, 6a means 6 times a. And I'll use the multiply sign for this, even though I don't normally like to use it because it looks too much like an x. Just to remind you that that is 6 times a times 3. And I can multiply these in any order. So in particular, I'm going to multiply the 6 by the 3 to get 18. And 18 times a, I'll write it without the uh, multiply sign, which we can do in algebra. And 6a times 3 simplifies to 18a. So notice these are not like terms. The letter parts or the variable parts are not the same. But we can multiply any two um, terms together, any two factors. OK, let's have a look at this one. Well, this is really 5 times a times negative 2 times c times b times 3. So the way you go about simplifying this without doing um, a lot of extra writing is you say, well, I can multiply the factor 5 times negative 2, which gives me negative 10 times 3. And that gives me, for a coefficient, negative 30. You might even want to cross out the factors you've already multiplied if you want to. OK, what I have left is a times c times b. Um, the convention is we write these alphabetically. So it's a, b, c. So that expression there can be written in simplified form as negative 30 a, b, c. And notice, again, we don't have to have like terms in order to multiply. OK, give you uh, some time to have a go at these. So stop the video, um, try these five questions, and then start the video and check your answers. OK, students, welcome back. Let's see how you went. Well, 2 times y times 6. Once again, we can multiply the 2 and the 6 together first. And that gives us 12. And 12 times y is written as 12y. This one, we have a negative 3 times a negative 3, which gives us positive 9 times a times b, so 9ab. Third question, 2 by negative 2 by negative 3. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 3, well, negative times negative is positive. So that's positive 12 times g times h times k. And that's the correct order, because we want to write the variables alphabetically. OK, this one's slightly different. Again, we multiply the numbers together first. 3 times 2 is 6. We could write 6aa, which is correct. But again, the simplest way to write AA is A to the power of 2. So that simplifies to 6A to the power of 2. OK, 
Okay, and the last one, 2 times 3 is 6, times 4 is 24. This time we have a times a times a. Well, that's going to be a to the power of 3. So as you can see, um, multiplying algebraic expressions is actually uh, quite easy. Okay, now we're going to look at um, dividing algebraic expressions. But before we do that, let's just have a quick reminder about how we simplify fractions. I'm going to do this in a slightly different way to the way you've probably seen it before. I'm going to ask myself, what is the biggest number that's a factor of both 24 and 36? And the answer is 12. So that is really 12 times 2, and that one is 12 times 3. Oops, let me just fix all of that. Now to simplify this, we just divide out common factors. So 12 is a common factor, and that means the final answer in simplified form, 24 over 36, just simplifies to 2 thirds. Looking at the second one, um, again, I'll do this um, a longer way, just to illustrate something. So 16 can be written as 4 times 4. We can uh, divide out the common factors of 4. Now that actually leaves, what you're really doing there is 4 divide 4 equals 1. So that really leaves you with 1 times 4 over 1. So a simpler way of writing it, 16 over 4 can be changed into 4 over 1. But anything divided by 1 is itself. So the way we would leave the answer is just as the number 4. Okay, so we're going to use these ideas to simplify algebraic fractions. Okay, having a look at the first question here, um, I like to think of this as you basically have like three questions to solve. First, you simplify the coefficients. Then you simplify the uh, factors involving an E. And then you simplify the factors involving an F. And once you do that, you've got the answer. Okay, let's have a look at negative 15 divide 10. Well, the common factor for those is 5. So 5 goes into 10 twice. 5 goes into negative 15, negative 3 times. So I can start by putting the negative 3 on top and the 2 on the bottom. Now, E is only one of those, so that just stays. Nothing changes. And we've got a common factor of F, so we can divide both of those by F. And that's our final answer. So I can just get rid of that, make it look a bit prettier. So we simplified the coefficients, negative 3 on 2. The E we just copied across, and the F's divided out. OK, why don't you have a go at this one? OK, so I'll stop the video, have a go, and then come back and check your answer. OK, let's see how you went. OK, so once again, we basically treat this as a question involving the coefficients, a question involving D, one involving F, one involving P. And we just do each of those separately. So first off, negative 3 and 9, the, the uh, highest common factor is 3. So that's going to become negative 1 when I divide that by 3. And I'm going to divide that by 3, and I get 3. Now, we don't normally write the factor of 1, so I'm just going to write the negative sign. I could write the 1 if I wanted to, but it's not the simplest form. OK, there's a D in the numerator. There's no D in the denominator. So the D just stays. I've got common factors. Oops, and I should have put the 3 on the bottom. Sorry. There are common factors of F, so they divide out. And there are common factors of P, so they divide out. And that's our final answer. So negative 3 on 9 simplified to negative 1 third, and we don't write the 1. The D stays, and the F's cancel out or divide out, and the P's cancel out or divide out. OK, let's uh, you try these four, please, and uh, stop the video, and then we'll go through them once you've restarted. OK, welcome back. OK, let's start with this one. OK, 6 goes into 6 once. I won't bother writing the 1. 6 goes into 12 twice. 
the ends cross out, and that leaves me with 2m over 1. But we never write the over 1, so we're just going to write the 2m. This one here, I can go 4 goes into negative 4, negative 1 times. Again, I'm not going to write the 1. And 4 goes into 16, 4 times. So I'll put, it, I'll put it there, but not in my final answer. So there's going to be a 4 in my denominator. The P's uh, divide out. The R's divide out. And that leaves a Q. So that simplifies to negative Q on 4. Okay, the next one. This time, negative divided by negative. The negatives cancel out because the negative divided by negative is a positive. Um, 6 goes into 12 twice. 6 goes into 18 three times. So we can start by writing 2 thirds. The x's cross out. This time there's a y left, but it's in the denominator, not the numerator. So we write that as 2 over 3y. And the last one. Well, what we have here is the d's will cross out. Well, let's just go d goes into d once. D goes into D once, so I've got C on top, or C times 1 on top. And I have negative 1 in my denominator. So that's a bit simpler than that, but it's not the simplest way to write it. Positive divided by a negative is a negative, and C divided by 1 is C. So that just simplifies to negative C. Let's see if we have any more to do. Okay, the last page. Um, Occasionally, not too often, you'll actually see your algebraic expressions written with a divide sign rather than the fraction bar. And that's easily fixed. Rewrite them with a fraction bar. So in this case, my first step is to rewrite that is 14AB all over 7BC. And now I'd solve it as before. So 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 14 twice. So that's going to leave a 2 on top. I won't write the 1. The Bs cancel out. And I'm left with an A on top and a C in my denominator. So that simplifies to 2A all over C. OK, let's try this next one. You can stop the video if you wish and have a go yourself or just uh, follow along. So again, the first step is to rewrite the divide as an algebraic fraction. And that's over negative BA. OK, again, I can divide both of those by 4. 4 goes into 8 twice. So that leaves a negative 2 on the bottom. 4 goes into 12 three times. So. I'll just write those numbers as they are. I'm going to fix it up later. It's not quite finished. The B's cancel out and the A's cancel out. So I'm left with just 3 on negative 2. And we don't like to leave negative signs in our denominator. It's OK to leave them in the numerator. So I might just write that as negative 3 over 2. Positive over a negative is a negative. Uh, negative over positive to negative. So those two fractions are equal. OK, and the last one, write and simplify the product of the three terms. Well, you need to remember that the word product means you're multiplying the terms together. So it means 3abc times negative 5d times 3abc. So let's just do this in one step. Again, this is 3 times a times b times c, and so on. So let's multiply the coefficients first. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Negative 15 times 3 is negative 45. OK, I've got one factor of a, two factors of a. In fact, I might start crossing these out just to keep track. a times a is a squared. I've got one factor of b, two factors of b. So that's b squared. And I've got one factor of c, two factors of c. So that's c squared. And all that's left is one factor of d. So as you can see, um, multiplying and dividing in algebra 
is actually easier than multiplying and dividing with numbers. Okie doke, thank you very much.